Namaste everyone. In today's video episode, we are going to talk about a very popular RX Java operator called FlatMap. So FlatMap works like this. So we have our observable here, and let's change the FlatMap. Uh, I'm not uh, speaking of anything uh, before I show the flat map how flat map works because uh, it's better if I show this in practically how it works because otherwise it's going to be very confusing if I say something so uh, it flat map takes an observable and ret and it also returns whatever you it gets from this observable so uh, let me uh, make some things clarify for you uh, so as you can see that um, if we just simply subscribe to this observable uh, the our output will be here in in our case foo bar and gem uh, that is clear to you now uh, whenever we are going to use the flat map in bet in between uh, we need to pass a function so uh, let's go ahead and uh, pass this so our function will get uh, this strings that is there uh, from this observable so it will get all the stream emission to this flat map so this flat map uh, that we are using here i'm using a lambda function here this lambda function will get a call back from this specific stream every time like it will get the foo bar and gem in our case so the string will be a foo bar and gem so let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do with it so we are going to get the foo bar and gem here that is clear now we need to return an observable from this specific flat map so what will happen uh, let me just pass in any observable say observable dot empty so we can do that if you want but uh, our intention is not just uh, you know pushing some empty observable so let's uh, see what our output is it is it returns nothing it does not print anything because it does not get anything from this this subscribe method does not get anything from this observable here because the moment we use the flat map we get the emission here we receive the emission here and we return something from that emission in our case i am returning observable dot empty but three times in our case right uh, so let's go ahead and transform some data in between so that we can see that it actually works so let's go ahead and pass in observable dot just and I'm going to pass in the string here. Whatever the string I'm getting, I'm just passing this string here. That's uh, clear. Uh, and if we run it, uh, our, that is going to be our expected output. Even if we don't use this specific line here, uh, I mean this flat dot flat map, the output will be same, right? But uh, using a flat map, we want to uh, do something with that specific data that we are getting here, right? And we want to return an observable uh, after, uh, after getting that specific data so let's go ahead and see what we can do with it so in our case I'm gonna pass in uh, from array here and the array will uh, get in uh, uh, so let's go ahead and pass it a split method so what this will this will do is it will sp uh, split the string into uh, F O O like this so uh, th this is the basic uh, string split method I hope you understand that uh, so if you don't understand you can just go ahead and search about it so it will uh, split the string into array like the if we pass the foo inside this split method it will give us an array of character stream uh, a character which is f o o so it's a very straightforward method and we're passing this uh, specific um, array of string inside this from array observable so let's go ahead and run and see what happens now and there we go we get an output of all the streams that is getting there so what what we are getting here is the foo is first time going inside this um, lambda method here and what it is doing it is just splitting that foo into three parts uh, using this method and it is passing this array to this specific observable dot from array method so observable dot from array getting an array of this specific string that is that we are getting right now so here we are so as we subscribe to this specific method uh, we are going to get the emission from this specific observable that we are getting here so the subscribe uh, so the flat map basically uh, merge this uh, specific observables inside this method too i mean uh, think about it uh, this specific lambda will be called in our case three times so but the subscriber is getting all of the emission from that specific from this specific uh, observables right so 
it is basic it is internally merging all this data and giving you giving this to the to their subscriber in one place isn't it beautiful <laughs> i really like this uh, flat map method whenever we use uh, you know uh, in conjunction with the button click or anything like that uh, it is not a practical example right now uh, but it will make sense whenever we we are going to be on the practical side of this rx java so yeah i hope you understand that uh, so let's go ahead and uh, show you some other methods that we what we can do with the flat map so um, before i go into the other method let me show you one more thing that i that is on my mind right now is uh, we can uh, change this observable based on conditions too if we want uh, we can obviously filter that but uh, we let's do this for fun right for for now so uh, uh, what we are doing here is we are doing if so let's go ahead and uh, put some curly braces here so this will be uh, easier okay so so what we are doing here we are checking if the string is equals to equals to bar then we are gonna return an observable dot empty otherwise we will return this so uh, let's uh, return this here so it's a split uh, pretty straightforward uh, let's use this dot equals not this equals so yep so let's go ahead and run and see what happens so if we run it uh, we get the foo and jam only but the bar is missing from here because we are just checking and changing the observable uh, on the fly here so that's how it works actually so it basically merges also this it's also merges these observables that we are getting from here internally so you don't need to worry about it so flat map is a flat map is a very beautiful uh, function if you really want to use it uh, and leverage the power of it so we are going to uh, you know come back to the practical exa examples too in future but uh, for now this is how the actual basic flat map works so let's go ahead and see it takes it ha also has an overload and how it works so this is basically uh, like a previous function that we are uh, splitting the string and just passing this here so it's a full bar jam again so in this case a flat map also takes another by function here so that you can see uh, what it actually does so let me just uh, show you what it does so uh, let me just <clears throat> it get it returns basically the actual and the second so uh, i'm just making up this name so this can be this can be any any name guys uh, so as you know by the rx java prerequisites so and the, this basically gives you uh, the actual and the second one so what is the actual and second in our case return this uh, actual plus the let me just uh, concatenate this so that is the thing that i'm doing right now so let's go ahead and print and i'm going to tell you later that what it what's actually happening here so if you check the specific output here uh, it is uh, it is still doing this f o o bar and gem uh, like before but it is also printing this specific foo three times here so the point of this is uh, in this specific string this uh, this um, lambda is getting called every time with the foo bar and gem but this lam this lambda that we pass here it is getting called uh, based on this specific observable that we pass here so uh, if we are using foo bar and gem it is going this method is going to be called nine times and as you can see there by the output that it is uh, printing nine times right so the thing is that whatever will be the observable that we get from here that will the second will be the output from this specific observable here okay so let me just prove it to you by passing it like just and uh, and pass something called like um so let's go ahead and uh, Rab. so i'm just you know doing whatever i like so let's just do this and run it and there we go we basically uh gets whatever we get the uh, get from here is the second that you can see here because we are concatenating the actual and the second here so the we are getting the o o f r a b m a g m a j so it like this so it is uh, we are getting uh on this specific flat map overload here so what we can do here is instead of that we can just transform the data whatever we like it and uh, we can use that like before 
and again this will internally merge them all of this data and give it to their subscriber so you don't need to worry about it so that's it for today's video guys if you like the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to like that video and remember one thing that we upload videos every sunday so it's me signing off thank you for stopping by see you next sunday